The 32nd General Assembly of the International Astronomical Union has been taking place in Cape Town. It is scheduled to take place until the 15th of August. It's the first assembly of its kind to be held in Africa and brings together over 2,000 international astronomers looking at the latest scientific progress in several specialized areas. Our reporter, Corbin August, spoke to the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Bladen Zamande. We're crossing to you from Cape Town here at the International Astronomical Union's 32nd General Assembly, which kicks off this week. Of course, astronomers and science experts from all over the world are gathering here in the mother city, where they will deliberate on various scientific issues and develop policies and also present research related to astronomy all over the world. Uh, but joining us now, to talk to us a bit more about what this means uh, for South Africa and also perhaps uh, Cape Town. We are joined now by the Minister of the Department of Science and Innovation, Minister Bladen Zamande. Minister, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Yes, uh, good afternoon to you and your viewers and listeners. Wonderful. Uh, Minister, we've now come to this uh, momentous occasion, uh, the International Assembly's General Assembly, which is underway here in Cape Town, in Africa for the first time in over 100 years. Just talk to us a bit more about, about what this means for, yes. for, for the country. Yeah, this is one of the world's uh, most uh, premier science events. We're very proud as South Africa that we are hosting it and as the African continent. Just under two years ago, we hosted the World Science Forum. Now we are actually bringing together more than 2,000 astronomers from all over the world, 85 countries, more than 12,000 members, this organization of astronomers, to, to hold it in South Africa. It's a huge, huge event of very important significance. Firstly, it underlines the fact that much as our science system is not as big as we would want it to be right now, but it's the single largest on the African continent, and we've also got one of the premier science infrastructures, like the square kilometre array that's going to be built here. That is, South Africa, we are respected worldwide as a science nation, something that is very important for us. And hosting this, of course, <clears throat> will give us an opportunity to showcase what we are doing in South Africa and what we are doing in the, in the African continent in terms of science. Bearing in mind, by the way, that Africa goes a long way back with science. For instance, the 365-day year that we have derives from ancient Egypt, from studying the stars and studying some aspects of space. Today we take those things for granted. Mali, the country already in the 14th century, was offering astronomy as a subject. And there were people also coming from all over the world to this first uh, study of astronomy in the African continent. Of course, we also want to showcase that. But also, more importantly, this is going to contribute to what we call astrotourism. We have already agreed with the minister, Minister Dilin, Minister of Tourism, that we want to really take up astrotourism. In South Africa and the African continent. This is very important. So, Minister, so with regards to the program for the, the duration of the General Assembly, what sort of participation can we see from the department? Well, our department is co-hosting this. In fact, we are the lead host through our National Research Foundation. We are actually hosting this. So, we're also going to be doing a lot of other activities. For instance, we're going to be holding a women's astronomy conference on the sidelines of this conference. And on the 9th of May, by the way, we are going to be having an open day, calling all young women who have got interest or who are curious about astronomy to come and see what is happening. School kids also, it will be open to them to actually come and see, especially on the 9th. We are inviting, as I say, also young girls to actually be part of this, because this must be part of the legacy, that when we hosted this, we also left something behind in terms of exciting our own young people about astronomy and its importance. By the way, we derive a lot of data from astronomical studies. We also derive a lot of engineering insights 
from the study of astronomy and so on. So it's something that is very important. We also, with more than 2,000 astronomers, they're also going to be visiting some schools uh, to actually talk about astronomy so that we are able to excite our youngsters about the future that basically is in their hands, that they've got no limit, unlike in the apartheid past. They can study anything, including this very important discipline uh, of astronomy. Now, now, Minister, you mentioned just the going forward plans for the future, but then can we maybe also find out from you, just from the department side, what sort of initiatives are planned uh, going forward after the General Assembly to promote astronomy in South Africa? Well, we offer thousands of passers, by the way. Since, since uh, 1994, we've of offered more than 2,500 scholarships and bursaries in astronomy specifically. But also the president last year, working with our two departments, higher education and training and science and innovation, or launched what we call the presidential PhD program. In other words, we want to send bright South Africans, PhDs, postdoctorate, to study in premier science institutions and universities, especially in areas like astronomy where we still do not have enough numbers that we want, so that then they can come and bring back to South Africa. And part of those PhD and postdocs, we will ensure also that they come from the area of astronomy. So that presidential program is actually a very, very big platform for us to be able to do things. As I have said, the fact that we're going to be engaging school kids, that's a legacy already. Because some of them who would not have known about this field will get excited about astronomy and related disciplines. And also, these scientists who are coming here are also going to be interacting with some of their South African counterparts who are in our universities doing the same fields. That's cementing global by and bilateral, scientific, intellectual, and academic cooperation and exchanges in order also to lift uh, the study of astronomy in our country in a manner also that will benefit the rest of the African continent. Now, Minister, when we think about astronomy, and uh, for some people who were speaking from the uh, International Astronomical Union side, and also from the public, People usually think about astronomy as something in the stars, in the sky, in the moon. But from your side, in your view, how can astronomy help maybe to create jobs and boost the economy in South Africa? Well, firstly, it's very important, by the way, astronomy, because we must study the space in which the Earth is located. With climate change and all the threats that it actually provides, understanding the space in which our Mother Earth exists is very important in giving us insights on how we can build climate resilient infrastructure, uh, climate resilient facilities such that we are able to protect our people from the dangers of floods, inclement weather and all that. So it's got very practical impact on what we can do to actually create a different life you know, for people who are here. But another big benefit of astronomy, for instance, it provides lots of insights into engineering, something that we need concretely as a country in terms of innovation, new ideas about how we can make our own Earth a better place to be, and also data. These studies generate a lot of data which enables us to actually build very strong data science, data analytics, which is something that we need in our daily use to understand better what is going on in the world. For example, our National Space Agency has got a mapping of all our informal settlements in South Africa, where the poorest of our people are, what facilities are there, and what better planning can we do in terms of developing some of those areas going forward so that we are able to create a better life for our people right here on earth by understanding and having capacity for instance for satellites but understanding the stars understanding the milky way as some of our youngsters who study science knows that those things have got huge implications 
in creating the kind of lives that we want to create on Mother Earth. Okay, lovely. And Minister, maybe lastly, you could just share a, a message of support for the General Assembly going forward. Maybe tell us some of the highlights that you're looking forward to. Yeah. I would like to say that we really appreciate that the Presidium of this organization, leading this organization, offered South Africa a chance to host this for the first time ever on the African continent. This is history making. This we are sure that it's going to leave a lasting impact and a, a lasting uh, legacy. We really want to thank them. We also want to thank all the participants who took the trouble to come to South Africa. Try and excite South Africans, you know, young South Africans in particular, about astronomy. We really do appreciate that. I am, can assure you that after this conference, South Africa will never be the same when it actually comes to the study and understanding of astronomy by making sure that the work that we do is seen by the outside world and we're also able to, end, to learn more from the outside world. Minister, thank you for that very profound sentiment and wonderful words. Wishing all us. Based on that, we can understand that the sky and the stars are the limit. Huh? That's yes, so amazing. Definitely. But also, I should, by the way, emphasize the tourism part. That we want to build South Africa as a premier science tourism center. The rest of the world can come to South Africa and see the origins of humanity and also see the square kilometer array and also understand what South Africa is doing insofar as astronomy and other sciences are, are, are doing. That will also help to attract investment into South Africa and also place our country in a very good space globally and internationally. 100% wonderful, Minister. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for sharing all those yes. wonderful thoughts for us. We appreciate your time. All of the best, Minister. Thank you Keep very well. much. Good luck for the rest of the General Assembly. Thank, thank you. you. Well, of course, uh, that was the Minister of the Department of Science and Innovation, Minister Blade Nzimande, who was just uh, giving us a bit of an overview of what we can expect throughout the, the course of the week here at the International Astronomical Union's 32nd General Assembly currently underway here in Cape Town. Of course, the minister indicating that there will be various scientific programs that will be underway, discussions and uh, presentations on research, uh, saying that also uh, the Department of Science and Innovation uh, will be playing a major role and will be contributing some immensely to uh, the General Assembly. Of course, we will uh, keep you updated uh, with further developments throughout the course of the General Assembly here at Cape Town.